If you find yourself face to face with any of these snakes, run and don't look back. Here are the top 15 most freaky snakes. Number 15, Atheris hispida. The Atheris hispida is a highly venomous species of snake that's native to Central Africa, but it has unusual scales all over its body that means it's more commonly known as the hairy bush viper. They usually grow to a maximum length of around 30 inches and have a potent neurotoxin that instantly incapacitates their main food sources like frogs, lizards, and small mammals. Their long scales that look like bristles have developed as a camouflage technique because when they're hiding amongst vegetation, it's almost impossible to see them. As ambush predators, they lay in wait for the opportune moment to strike, but you better hope they don't inject their venom into you because there's a serious risk of death and, even if you manage to avoid that, eventually you'll likely suffer from long-term illness as a result. Number 14. The Cuban Boa Cuban boas are a species of non-venomous snake that are native to Cuba and several islands around it. They're the largest type of snake on the island and can be found in the forest where they typically camouflage in with the undergrowth in wait for their prey to pass by. When they catch a rodent or bird, they dig their teeth in and wrap their bodies around them before squeezing the life out of them. These snakes are, though, unusual in their hunting methods because they're the only ones known to work together in packs. Usually snakes are solitary animals, but these boas will occasionally collect into groups of 10 or more and use their collaborative strength to take down larger prey or colonies of rodents. Number 13, Spider-Tailed Viper. Native to the regions of Western Iran, the spider-tailed horned viper has developed an ingenious way of catching its prey. Its tail has a bulb-like end to it, which is covered in long scales, which, from a distance, looks just like a spider. It's also able to just move the tip to imitate a spider crawling around on a rock while the rest of the snake is camouflaged into its surroundings. So when a bird swoops in to catch what it thinks is a juicy meal, the snake can leap into action. It's a similar lure technique to that of a deep-sea anglerfish, but to see it happening on land is extremely rare. If you're in Iran and you think you see a spider, just be careful, because it could be a lot more than you're expecting. Number 12, Horned Viper. Horned vipers are a venomous species endemic to Northern Africa and the Middle East, and are identifiable by their unusual scale growths above each eye that look like horns. Not all of them develop these horns though, and it's not yet known what purpose they serve. But if you ever do encounter one, you should keep your distance. Growing on average to around 24 inches long, their venom is potent, and while it's unlikely to kill you, it will cause symptoms such as swelling, vomiting, uncontrollable bleeding, and necrosis around the bite site. The ancient Egyptians both revered and feared this particular species, and the snakes were so important to them that there's a hieroglyph based upon them. Number 11, Black Banded Sea Crate. The Black Banded Sea Crate is a species that can be found in coral reefs in the Pacific Ocean and is one of the most dangerous snakes you could ever encounter, with a venom that's thought to be up to 10 times more powerful than that of a cobra's. They can grow to become up to 70 inches long and are highly adapted to living in water. They can't, however, swim fast enough to catch fish, so they hide within the holes in the coral and wait for a victim to swim past. When they see a fish, they snap with their fangs to inject venom and then slowly follow their prey until it succumbs to the toxins. Luckily, encounters with humans are rare, and in Japan, they're seen as a delicacy during the winter, where they're said to taste similar to tuna. Number 10. Tentacled Snake The tentacled snake is one of the strangest snake species on Earth because, as the name would suggest, they actually have two tentacles that protrude from their heads that are thought to help them track down prey in marine environments. They are found throughout Southeast Asia and in the cloudy waters of ponds and lakes and usually grow no longer than 35 inches. They attach themselves to a sturdy object by their tails and lay in wait until a fish swims within the strike zone. The tentacles sense movement when the fish is in the perfect position, the snake will strike. They are considered to be an invasive species when introduced to new regions because they don't have any natural predators, which is why there's a problem in Florida at the moment, as their population numbers continue to increase after some that were being kept as pets managed to escape into the wild. Number 9. Spitting Cobra Cobras are known for being some of the most venomous species of snake in the world. But there are some that can get you with their toxins without being close enough to bite you because they're able to spit a mist of venom when they feel threatened. 
There are actually at least 20 different cobra species that can do this, and they are found throughout Africa and Asia. They have muscles in their jaws that squeeze their venom glands, and the liquid is released through tiny forward-facing holes in their fangs. Some of them are able to spray it as far as 6.6 .6 feet and use it exclusively as a defensive measure, resorting to injecting their venom in the traditional way when they're hunting. Fortunately, since the spit doesn't deliver the venom into the bloodstream, this isn't anywhere near as dangerous as being bitten. But it can cause severe irritation of the skin as well as blisters and may lead to permanent blindness if it enters the eye. Number 8. Tiger Keelback The tiger keelback is a wonderfully colored snake that's found in East Asia in countries such as Eastern Russia, North and South Korea, and China. But don't let their black, green, and orange scales fool you into thinking they're friendly because they have danger written all over them. Their venom is full of neurotoxins that would require immediate medical attention if you were unfortunate enough to be bitten by one. But they only actually use this when they're hunting. They're one of the only snakes to be both venomous and poisonous because they also have toxins in their body designed for defensive use too. This is because of their diet, which includes a particular species of toxic toad. Tiger keelbacks have two glands in their necks that collect the poison when they eat the amphibians and store it until they themselves need to use it against a predator. If you ever see one, it's definitely best to just admire them from a distance. Before we move on, be sure to subscribe to Top 5s with notifications on. Number 7. Worm Snake Found across the eastern woodlands of North America, eastern worm snakes are often mistaken for worms at first because of their appearance, but your chances of seeing one are very remote. They grow to a maximum of 13 inches long and spend most of their lives burrowing beneath the ground in search of earthworms and insects to eat. They're usually dark brown in color and have a series of small teeth in their mouth that they use to crush their food before swallowing it. Despite having no venom, it's not the greatest idea to pick one of these up if you ever find one. They won't try to bite and are completely harmless to humans, but they can still be extremely unpleasant. They're able to emit a foul-smelling musk, which is their main method of a defense against predators. They will defecate on your hands and try to stab you with their tails before trying their best to burrow between your fingers to escape. Number 6. Elephant Trunk Snake also known as the Javan file snake, elephant trunk snakes are a species that are native to Southeast Asia and are fully aquatic. They aren't venomous, but are extremely efficient predators in the water where they hunt fish and amphibians. They lie in wait virtually motionless until something swims past, and then they strike in a flash. Growing to more than seven feet long, they have extremely loose and baggy skin, which almost makes it look as if it's way too big for the snake but is ideal to camouflage amongst rock and plant material in the water because the flaps of skin ripple in the current. Skin has unfortunately become a prized commodity for the leather industry, so every year hundreds of thousands of them are captured. They aren't yet considered to be at risk, but if this continues, they could well be endangered within a matter of years. Number 5. Stiletto Snake Cypex langs, which are more commonly known as stiletto snakes, are a species of small but highly venomous snake that are native to Africa. They spend most of their lives underground hunting lizards and other snakes, and it's because they usually work in the confines of burrows that they have developed such unusual fangs. Instead of pointing downward, they point back within their mouth, which means that once they've bitten into their prey, there's virtually no chance of it escaping. Furthermore, they're able to twist and operate each fang independently to stab their prey, and it's this similarity with stiletto daggers used by assassins that give the snake its name. To make matters worse, the fangs are hollow and are used to inject a potent toxin. It's not necessarily powerful enough to kill, but it will definitely be extremely painful and will likely cause severe tissue damage. Furthermore, they have short but spiky tails, so have also been known to use these to attack prey or predators with too. It's quite difficult to recognize a stiletto snake in comparison to other few harmless species that live in the same areas, so people often encounter them when picking them up because they think there's something else. It's because of this that stiletto snakes are responsible for the third largest number of serious bites on humans each year in South Africa, and should obviously be treated with extreme caution. Number 4. Black Mamba The Black Mamba is one of the most famous species of venomous snake in the world. And while they may look cute and approachable, these dangerous animals will make you wish you had stayed far away. 
They're found across sub-Saharan Africa, where they live throughout the savannas and forest regions. They hunt on the ground and in the trees, and usually prey on small birds, rodents, and bats. Black mambas typically grow up to 15 feet long and are a gray or dark brown color. They look quite similar to various other snake species, but when they open their mouths, which are inky black inside, then that's when you know for sure it's one of them. They're able to move along the ground at speeds of up to 10 miles per hour in short bursts. And once fully grown, they have very few natural predators. This means that their response when they feel threatened is highly aggressive and will see them spread their neck flap, open their mouth, begin to hiss. They can strike from several feet away and will usually bite multiple times in quick succession. Each successful bite will be used to inject venom through their fangs, and the neurotoxins are so powerful that the effects will be felt within 10 minutes. Symptoms may include droopy eyelids, a shortness of breath, drowsiness, paralysis, and will likely lead to death if anti-venom isn't administered soon after the attack. They are quite rightfully one of the most feared snakes in the world and are definitely a species you don't want to meet. Number three, flying snakes. Flying snakes can be found across Southeast Asia and can be a real surprise to those visiting the jungle areas where they usually live. There are actually five known species of flying snake, including the golden tree snake, paradise tree snake, twin barred tree snake, molokan tree snake, and the Sri Lankan flying snake and they range in size between two feet and four feet long. Of course, they don't fly in the traditional sense, but instead glide through the air. They all have ridge scales along their bellies that allow them to climb up tree trunks and then slither along the high up branches to the end. Then they choose a destination they want to reach, normally one where they think food will be, and jump from the branch. They flare out their ribs to increase their surface area which allows them to maintain enough lift to travel between the treetops in a way that's similar to the flight of a frisbee. They're better at doing this than other gliding animals like flying squirrels and can slightly adjust their velocity and direction by slithering in the air. It's an effective way to hunt and also to escape predators and they can travel as far as 330 feet before needing to land. The flying snake species are venomous too, so when they found a bird or rodent, they inject the toxins through their fangs and wait for their target to die. The venom is not dangerous to humans, however, and the worst you'd experience is a stinging pain for a few hours. People are occasionally bitten though, and unlike other species that usually bite on the foot or hand, because these ones fly through the air, they're more likely to make contact with your face. Number 2. Taipan Taipans, which are native to Australasia, are some of the deadliest snakes known to live anywhere on Earth, and an encounter with one can lead to serious health complications and, if they decide to strike, a high chance that you might die. There are three known species, the Inland Taipan, the Coastal Taipan, and the Central Ranges Taipan, and although they prefer different environments to live and hunt, they all have the same basic hunting methods and component toxins to their venom. Their favorite prey are small mammals like rats or bandicoots, but they've been seen devouring virtually any creature that they can swallow whole and have no problem with attacking something much larger if they feel under threat. Coastal taipans are the largest of the three, and at up to 9 or 10 feet long, they're the longest venomous snake species in Australia. They're physically similar to the black mamba, so are thought to be of the same lineage that dates back to when the Australian and African continents were still joined and their behaviors are similar too, meaning they can be highly aggressive. They usually hunt in the morning while keeping their bodies flat to the ground and lift up their head to search the area. Once a target has been spotted, they will stay as still as possible until it gets close enough, and then it will strike with a few bites in quick succession. They then retreat and watch the prey as it tries to escape. But as the venom starts to take effect, they will become increasingly weak. This protects the taipan from suffering any harm in case the animal lashes out at them. But when it hardly has enough strength to keep moving, the snake will move in to eat it. The anti-venom was developed for a taipan bite in the 1950s, but before that happened, virtually every attack resulted in death. The main chemical in the venom is tycotoxin, which interferes with the central nervous system's ability to function properly and also prevents blood from clotting. Soon after being bitten, you'll experience intense headaches, vomiting, convulsions, paralysis, and kidney damage. And because you'll be unable to breathe, you'll die from suffocation. Each bite delivers at least 10 times the lethal dose for a human, so there's a 100% chance of it being fatal if you don't seek help. 
Depending on how much venom is injected into the bloodstream, death can occur within just a half hour of the bite. But on average, it takes two and a half hours, which gives just enough time to get to a hospital to be treated. Number one, golden lancehead. Golden lanceheads are the most dangerous snake in the world, with venom that's far more potent than any other. So it's fortunate that they can only be found on one island off the coast of Brazil. And it's a place that's heavily guarded by the Navy, and only those with special permission can visit. They developed these powerful toxins after the island became separated from the mainland thousands of years ago, and because the only creatures that visit are migratory birds. To be able to feed properly, the snakes need to be able to kill their prey instantaneously before it flies away. And so as soon as they sink their teeth into a target, it doesn't stand a chance. Fortunately, human bites are incredibly rare, but there have been a few occasions where it has happened. Death occurred within the space of an hour, but not before the venom literally melted away the flesh around the site of the bite and caused searing agony to the victim. They may look cool, but you definitely should never, ever get anywhere near close to one. Subscribe to Top 5s for more and check out some of our other popular videos.